Good morning and welcome Team Southside where teamwork makes the dream work. Miss Sherelle's here along with a couple of special guests. Give us your name and your homeroom teacher please. My name is Emmett Nichols and I'm in Miss Smith's class. Uh, Silas Monroe in Miss Smith class. All right, go ahead and stand and prepare for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, happy Thursday to everybody. And of course, this week we are having a word of the week. All right, who knows the word of the week? All right, what is it? United. United, all right. So yesterday we talked about some synonyms of united. And we talked about that united means to be together and that kind of stuff. And so today, of course, we're going to talk about antonyms. I'm wondering if you might know an antonym of united. Disconnected. Ooh, disconnected. That's a pretty good word. I think of uh, connect for. You're trying to connect them, but in this case, we're disconnected. They're yes. not together. All right, another antonym? Separated. Okay, separated. And the one that comes to mind to me is the word divided. And I don't know if you might have heard our state motto is united we stand divided we fall so guys what do you think that means united we stand divided we fall i think that means if you work better together than uh like separated and not working together yeah so if we don't work together then we're probably going to fail yes right i think that's yeah. what that means and so as a state they're saying if everybody in kentucky works together on, for a common goal then we'll be a successful state but if we're not working together then it's probably not going to be yeah. a big course. all right so we will talk about united one more time tomorrow but speaking of tomorrow tomorrow is exciting because it is rodeo roundup all right so is there something that you are excited about for rodeo roundup I'm excited for, uh, there will be Gaga Ball there, so I'm excited for that and a lot of other things too. I'm excited for dunking the teacher and for that. Ooh, are you dunking the teacher? Yes. Okay. I'm like, so look at the chili right today and probably will be in the morning especially. I don't know, I might feel a little sorry for the teacher and not I want really? to dunk them. Yeah. You think you might feel sorry for them instead? Oh, not really. Yeah, they're tough, they're tough. They're tough they're enough? Tough. Yeah. Okay, I, good. I, I Got that? And of course, tomorrow, as part of our rodeo roundup time, uh, most of our students are going to be rotating in their houses. And because we're rotating with our house, we need you to wear your house shirt. House shirt, that's exactly right. And so you don't have to worry about all the war paint and all that kind of stuff, but do wear your house shirt uh, for our rodeo roundup tomorrow. And all right, I'm wondering, as we get ready to do this rodeo roundup, you're playing lots of games, do you have any tips for people to make it a good day for all? I got one. Day? Okay, we got All right, so when you're playing in the inflatables, um, I've seen this a lot. People, they don't, uh, they, when, um, when the, when people are going up, wait your turn until they come down the side so you don't hit each other while you're both going down the side. Yeah, we don't want any injuries. We need everybody yes. to be safe. Make sure you take your turn, and that's true of any of the games that we may do. Yes. Make sure you take your turn and be patient because we don't get a chance to have fun too, but you just got to be patient with it. You got a yeah. tip? And like in Gaga Ball, if you get out, don't be a sore loser. Be like, be like supportive of people if they get out too. Yeah, no need to argue. We don't want to make it to where it's not fun for everybody. Or, in, in, you know, worst case scenario is you don't get to play because people are arguing too much. We don't want that to happen. Yeah, yeah. So make sure that you're being um, a gracious winner. And also, if you happen to, to lose, uh, don't be a sore loser. I, 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 I have one more. One more. All right, give it to us. All right. Also, on the inflatables, uh, don't, like, don't go, go head first or don't do any fl front flips on the slide. Okay, that's right. You gotta follow those rules, make sure your feet down, and yeah. it'll all be fun. Yeah. All right, well, tomorrow's gonna be a fantastic day, but before we get to tomorrow, we gotta get through today, and so I hope everyone has a, a wonderful day today. And of course, we always expect our stallions to be safe, safe respectful, respectful, and responsible. responsible. And, and it's, it's always, always a great, great day, day to be a Southside, Southside stallion. stallion. Bye, Bye. guys. Wait.